Hello everyone and welcome to a Factorio tutorial. Today we are looking at steam powers. We'll look at what a uh, the, the perfect ratio is for steam power for a single pump and we'll look at um, the math behind that. The math is pretty easy when it comes to the steam power and um, yeah that'll be the tutorial. So this is what the finished setup will look like with one pump. If you want a second pump, then you'll just want to take this and uh, flip it around. And if you do that, you'll probably want to upgrade your belt to red because you'll need more coal. Uh, you'll need yeah more coal to fuel that many. If you're using solid fuel or something more than better than coal, then uh, a yellow belt and normal inserters will work fine. But for now, uh, let's look at the finished product. You'll have one pump. It will feed 20 boilers. And those 20 boilers will each feed two steam engines for 40 steam engines. And I'll put this all in the description uh, if you want to just look down there for all those numbers. Now, how do we get those numbers? A offshore pump in the right hand side, it pumps 1200 per second, 1200 water per second. If you look at one boiler, it consumes 60 per second. So if you take 1200 divided by 60, you get 20, which tells us we need 20 of these to completely consume this water. Now, uh, if you have fewer than that, you'll be fine. You're not gonna, it's, it's not gonna do anything bad. Um, but if you get more than 20 boilers on a pump, you'll start losing efficiency because they will not get filled up uh, on time. Now, how do we know that we need two engines per? If you look here, there is a uh, maximum consumption of 1.8 uh, megawatts. So this can power 1.8 megawatts. And luckily, a steam engine can produce 900 kilowatts. So it's gonna take this steam and produce 900. Well, we're getting 1800s worth of steam, which means we'll have 900 here. We put a second one on there is another 900. So two of these together produces eight, uh, 1.8 megawatts, so 1800 kilowatts. And there you have your perfect ratio. Uh, so that is the math behind it. I like to do a backup inserter burner just in case power goes out. These will continue to take coal and I'll show you that here in a bit. Um, but I do also like to have these. So when you start producing lots of power, uh, these will go quick enough for a long time. These might be too slow once you get too much power. Uh, so let me show you these if you've never seen the inserter burners. The nice thing about them is they feed themselves. So you don't have to worry about providing them coal uh, or another fuel source because they'll pick it up and feed it themselves first. And then they'll feed what you're trying to feed. Uh, and again, I like to have these for the main, uh, but those are nice for backup. And this will produce uh, your power. So uh, coal-wise, just try to feed it about a full belt. Um, I don't. I never worry too much about the ratios of coal, just because I never really have a huge problem with it. Um, again, I just know that if you double this up and have two pumps and 80 uh, steam engines, then you will want the red belt and blue inserters to keep up unless you use a better fuel source. Um, real quick, the power you produce should be uh, 900 times 40, which should give you 36,000 kilowatts. So it should give you 36 megawatts of power. And if we click this, uh, we're getting 38.4 megawatts. Um, so I don't know where my math is going 
wrong there, but there we go. 38.4 megawatts on this here. Um, that should be the basics of steam power. Uh, let me know in the description if you have any questions that I can answer. Uh, like or subscribe if you want to, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.